and fighting line head coach Dan Hartlip, who is uh, gracious enough to join us here in the booth. To uh, explain uh, the, uh, the decision and the ruling and, and all that. Well, you, you have the option uh, before the game to agree upon a 10-run rule, and we did that. Um, you know, it's, it's not something that you really want to advertise to your players. You, know, you just want them to play hard and, and uh, move forward. So, uh, you know, we're fortunate to break things open late. And thought our guys did a very good job. So, uh, obviously, I'm not real good with math, but, you know, we were ahead by, by 11 runs, so it yeah. was over <laughs> after eight. Well, there you have it. Um, everyone uh, up and down the lineup looked pretty good at the plate tonight. All the starters had a hit, and, uh, you know, we put pressure on uh, on them from an offensive standpoint. Uh, they made a couple mistakes, and, and we came up with big hits to, to break that open. Uh, you know, you look uh, defensively, I thought we were, we were solid. Uh, you know, I had a couple of tough balls when the sun went down in the outfield that I thought should have been caught, but, uh, you know, we overcame that. Uh, I thought, uh, you know, we did a good job. Kevin Duchesne was good. Uh, you talked to him a little bit, had too many walks, uh, but he also, you know, had a number of strikeouts. thought our bullpen was outstanding mm -hmm. today. We had uh, all those guys come in, and uh, J.D. Nielsen was very good. That's the best outing he's had. I uh, thought he was throwing three pitches for a strike. His changeup was really, really good. Grayson Johnson, uh, same way. Uh, he was down in the zone. Thought his changeup was very good, and then Tyler J came in and, and had the three strikeouts. So, uh, 14 strikeouts and six walks. Uh, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll indeed, that. indeed. That's a season high strikeout uh, team total. Uh, so, uh, you know, we get it done offensively, we get it done on the mound. Uh, we did commit uh, the one error, but uh, outside of that, I thought we played pretty well in the field. Uh, I thought both those balls were tough to play in the outfield. I thought it was a little soupy out in the outfield tonight. It was. And I had trouble, uh, you know, when the balls went up and I was just standing in the dugout, uh, even the couple pop-ups, the one that was down third baseline, uh, the Brandon Hall call, it, it, at that time, it just blended in the sky. And I was sta just standing there watching them, and it was tough to see them. Uh, you know, when you're moving around with that type of sky, you know, it, it makes it more difficult. So. You know, that, that was the thing I was most pleased with J.D. about. You know, J.D. only gave up uh, one hit, but we had those those struggles in that one inning from a defensive standpoint, and he stayed very composed and continued to just pump strikes in. And again, I thought he was very good. So, uh, you know, really pleased with them. We only gave up three hits today. And uh, just thought we played well. I thought we played composed. I thought we were very focused today. Uh, we were loose. And I think one of the things that's really impressive, too, um, is we sat around all day in Champaign and, uh, you know, on the bus ride, it, uh, it's raining, it's pouring, doesn't look like anybody can play, and we came over and we were ready to go, so our guys stayed focused all day and expected to play, and, and really pleased with that. Four in a row, and uh, that's the way you want to go into a big series uh, like this one coming up this weekend in Columbus. Yeah, four in a row is nice, uh, but it's history. You know, we, we need to move forward. We've got a big uh, series. You know, as we talk about every series from here on out, it's going to be a, a big series. Uh, Ohio State's a very good team. Obviously, you play them on the road and you have a little bit of travel to, uh, you know, to overcome, I guess. Uh, but our guys will be ready, and uh, I'm excited about the weekend. Thanks, Dan. Congratulations. No, thanks, Dave.